Early Cherokee history, it is the belief of the Cherokee people that they came to the land of the New World from the direction of the East Ocean riding on a white cloud. There seems to be in the legend the existence of some type of round instrument which directed the voyage. Although not totally clear, it seems that the instrument which directed the voyage was ball shape and contained another like it within itself. It contained a liquid, making the floating devices within to congregate at times to give direction to the eyes of the beholder. Like the Iroquois, the Cherokee believed that the ancient people landed in what is the Yucatan Peninsula Mayan Indian area. From there, they migrated northward after arriving from the east. Therefore, their travels took them from the Southlands after arriving from the east to the Northlands, then again into a southerly direction. This route will now be followed after they left the south lands of the Yucatan. The migration northward took the Cherokee, actually the people, because they believed they were one people at that time, and they had not yet divided into groups into the area of what is now New York near the place of waters called Lake Erie. As they arrived into this area of now northern New York, they found a light-skinned people who already possessed the land. The Cherokee people befriended these light skins and dwelt among them. These light skins were a mighty and a great people. It is believed by the Cherokee that they were the true forefathers of all the Indians who had come from the east across the waters riding in white clouds. Peace and harmony existed among the people throughout the land so that everyone lived well. In time dissension occurred from among the people and inevitably the two peoples began to despise each other. All the ceremonies were disrupted and their beliefs questioned, some believing in one thing and others believing in another. The confusion became so intense so that all the good feelings and peace and harmony which existed could not be found among the two peoples. A day approached when these two peoples were to go into battle which caused their separation. In due time the two groups knocked heads to quote the Iroquois. After the battle, it was found that the Iroquois nation, we shall discover that the Cherokee sprang from this group, was defeated and placed under subservient conditions. The women being raped and placed under slavery supervision by the bark eaters, as the light skins were called. They also performed sacrilegious services and sacrifices, cutting out the hearts of the people. The Iroquois nation suffered greatly at the hands of the Bark Eaters and prayed unendingly for deliverance for the space of many, many years. It was mentioned by the chief that perhaps the clouds are the white sails of the ships which brought them here. It was also mentioned that the word Cherokee was somehow associated with the Hebrew word for cloud or sail. Thank you, friends.